Welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and as promised today, we will go over, in the beginning of the episode, the ups and downs of the Pop King Paul Funko Pops of the mystery box I received, as well as going along with another Funko Pop or two. Well, let's get going and check out those ups and downs on the latest edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. Alright, let's get right into it so we don't waste any more time because you know I like talking. Let's just get started with the Alpha 5. Alpha 5, my Power Rangers brethren from the 90s, you are getting an up. That's right, you are getting an up and that is an easy up. And then Grogu, who looks like he's been smoking a little bit of ganja, he is also getting an up. That's right, Grogu, you get an up and you keep killing it. Represent them Yoda people. And then we have finally the Nightmare, just making sure I pronounce the name correct, Arya Stark's Wolf from Game of Thrones. You are getting an whoop! That's an whoop, whoop, whoop! Three, 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 count them, three whoops! That's right, three ups, Pop King Paul. Thank you very much for your order. Hopefully, next time I order, I get something a little bit better, or maybe I should just wait for the anime. Alright, now to get started on what everyone's been waiting for is a new opening of a box and seeing what we got. So let's start with this oversized box. That's right, everyone, and my room is so messy, you can probably hear that. This oversized box from Target. Now, I know a lot of people think that I should be a professional singer, but come on. I'm a YouTube sensation. I'm a Funko dude. I'm a wrestling fan. I cannot be a singer, everybody. So let's just open this box and stop being crazy. All right, so, boom. Easy open on the target. We didn't even need that sharp knife. Boom. Oh, what is this? I, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I guess it's been such a long time that I have not uh, ordered uh, or remembered that I ordered this Funko Pop from Target, and it is a what if of, um, let me see here, the Infinity Killmonger, ha, ah, is this guy from Black Panther? I really don't know where he's from, maybe he's just a what if series, maybe he's not even from Black Panther. To be honest with you, I think the reason I purchased this is because I thought he was from Black Panther. And uh, I actually just got another box from Target the other day, so I'm kind of confused of what's inside of it. So I'm just going to grab it over here, and uh, it looks kind of the same size. So I hope they didn't send me two of the same thing by mistake. If they did, I'm going to have to contact customer service to make sure they didn't charge me for two. And this one, whoop, nope, nope, it is not, it is not at all. Uh, what I thought it was going to be. It is actually a solo Funko Pop, which uh, I guess I'll take it out since, you know, we're here and I already unboxed it. It is a, whoa, it is a Kate Bishop Funko Pop, and Kate Bishop is looking cool. I have no idea why I have this in a singular package. I believe I bought two at the time when they first were released, so I'm not sure. I do know that she is Hawkeye's wife and or daughter and it is Kate Bishop with Lucky the pizza dog. That pizza dog looks mighty sick even though he has one eye. Why does he have one eye? That's not cool. Uh, we will take this definitely out of here. Now the, the what if one I'm not too sure I want to take it out. I did get a medium but once I take this bad boy out I don't know if people you know really like pop teas out of the box. It appreciates their value. It does. So let's get ready and take out this cat bishop. And then while I'm doing it, I will think about whether or not I want to take out the what if killmonger. Okie dokie. And we will take her out. And she is on a stand. So she does not stand on her own, though we will give her the eight minutes there and standing test. <laughs> and oh, I love this. Oh! That's right, everyone. I am blown away with excitement. <laughs> it's a bobblehead! It's a bobblehead, and this figure is so freaking cool. I love the bow and arrow. It really reminds me of playing EverQuest 2 with a ranger. Very, very sick. It is a bobblehead, everyone! Bobbling! This is so really cool. I do like the design of the hair. I like how the Funko Pops nowadays 
have the very uh, slick details going down. Our outfit looks cool. I don't know what the regular non-black light would be, but hey, look, we're gonna leave her right here. Hopefully she can stand by herself just for a second, or I will lean you against your box and you can stand up. No, no, we're being difficult, fine. We will have to get the foot pedal because I am so anxious to take out this dog and take a look at it. So here's Kate standing up, and here comes, what's the dog's name again? Uh, pizza, Lucky, Lucky the pizza dog. I'm gonna slash myself in the eye with the packaging. Boom! Check this little rascal out. This dude is so freaking cool. And of course, the dog can stand on its own. So, Kate, what is going on with you not being able to do it? Uh, the Kate Bishop Funko Pop is really cool, and I believe it, it might be from the Loki TV show. Uh, or maybe the Hawkeye TV show. It's one of them that are on Disney+. Plus. I don't do a lot of research, nor do I really watch the Marvel shows on television, unless I do have a lot of time. So these two Funko Pops are fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to open the Killmonger. I do know that I have a large coming, so I'll open up the large. I really don't mind. Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. No, 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 no. I'm having second thoughts. I'm not going to do it. So we were just going to give it an up and down. Now, just basically based upon the shirt that I can see through the picture right here and then the front of it and the Funko Pop in general, it does look pretty cool. The green looks pretty sick. I'll definitely put a picture because I don't want to take it out and rotate it. Um, so let's just start with the ups and downs so I can shut up. Uh, the Kate Bishop with the dog, we already know Lucky himself is getting it. Oh, Kate Bishop, I need to think about you. No, I don't. You're getting it up, too. This is a fantastic blacklight Funko Pop. I do need to try to look at the original. Sorry that everything's falling down in my office. And then we have the What If Funko Pop, the Killmonger, which, for some reason, I really thought it was from Black Panther, because in another video where I got the... Actually, I don't even know if I went over a Killmonger before. Now that I'm thinking of it. Meh. It is getting an up. It looks cool. I like the green outfit, and I think he's rocking a cape, too. I, I'm just looking at the box, everyone. Uh, if you did open your Killmonger and you want to tell me uh, that I'm being ridiculous by not doing so, let me know in the comments. Uh, and let me know what your favorite character from the What If series is, because I do know they did a few episodes. So let me know. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I hope you had a fantastic time. I gave you those ups and downs for Pop King Paul in the beginning. I gave you the ups and downs for these. That just is a slew of ups and downs. Join me next time when I'm promised that we'll have maybe a better topic. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll toss out something with uh, Wanda from WandaVision. Who knows? I will see you next time. Have a great day, week, month, or maybe a year. Don't tell the friends people I keep stealing their line. <laughs> Bye.